Hello, my name is Becky and I'm an educator here at the Nasher Sculpture Center. Today, I'd like to introduce you to a powerful woman. She is named Spoon Woman. She was made by the young artist Alberto Giacometti, who designed her in 1926. The Nasher Sculpture was cast in 1954. She is solid bronze and stands guard over the gallery. Standing at almost five feet tall, she commands your attention in the room. Everybody has a spoon at home. Spoons are so common that we don't think about them often. Go into your kitchen and see how many different types of spoons you can find. Can you find other spoons in other rooms as well? Pause the video while you gather spoons. Now, study your spoon collection for a minute. Which materials are your spoons made from? Are they different in size or shape? Now, take a moment to consider all of the things a spoon can do. Pause the video while you make a list of those things. See if you have some of the same things on your list as I do. A spoon holds things. The spoon can offer nourishment. A spoon can contain distribute, stir, serve, dig a hole, and rattle. It can be decorated or simple, balanced or bent. Now, stop and think. How do these same qualities compare to a person? Giacometti designed Spoon Woman in Paris. He was fascinated by African anthropomorphic spoons. Anthropomorphic means giving human qualities to inanimate objects, like a spoon. Anthropomorphic spoons from Africa were frequently exhibited in the museums of Paris in the 1920s. Giacometti spoon resembles those made by African artists living in Dan communities of Liberia and the Ivory Coast. Oversized African ceremonial spoons were presented to an individual woman to acknowledge her generosity. They indicated the status and power of the recipient. Take a minute to study the Nasher Spoon Woman from different angles. Which physical qualities of a woman do you see in Giacometti's sculpture? Which parts of the sculpture look more like a spoon than a woman? Now, here's something for you to try. As you put away the spoons you collected, look around your house for another common household object. Select an object that you think has some of the same qualities as you do personally. After you have chosen one object, think of how you would combine your body with that object. Grab a piece of paper and draw a self-portrait combining your shape with that object. Have fun! You can find additional resources related to this artwork in the description of this video. I hope to see you back soon on another virtual tour of the Nasher's collection.